guys. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you hadn't got a chance, please hit that subscribe button. We're going to go over the unboxing of a stamp and storage item that is one of the splurges I love for my craft room. This is a piece that fits in an IKEA Calyx unit and it fits perfectly. They make it specifically for that. So it is a holder that will hold 48 of the Distress Oxide or Distress Ink size pads, but it also holds the same amount of all to new crisp ink pads. So I'm going to show you how I organize those things today. So in case you don't know what I mean by an IKEA Calyx unit, it's these cube units. And you can see I already have some Distress Oxides in these types of holders. I had gotten a lot more all to new inks for Christmas and wanted to add some storage for those. Fits perfectly in this and you can see you can pull it out. It's about three inches wide so you still have a lot of space behind this if you want to store something that you don't need often back there. Each of the calyx units is 15 inches deep so this only takes three inches of that to store it. You could also do multiple sets of inks back to back in there but I like to be able to see all of my ink colors at one time. Here's what I'm going to use to label all of my ink pads and also to put a swatch on each one. So this hole puncher um, comes in tons of sizes so it could fit a lot of different ink labels. So we're going to go through the process of how I label all these so that I can see the true colors. Because with these all new inks on the edge, you don't have a color indicator if you're putting it in one of these things. So we'll get these open and get going. While I'm getting these set up, I also want to remind you that links to all the products will be in the description. And once again, if you hadn't hit the subscribe button, that would really help me out. Thanks so much. So as we get on with this, you can use any label maker. I have had this one forever and it's got its pluses and minuses, but it does do different sizes. So I went down to the small size of lettering to print these and I'm going to trim them down because you'll see on the edge of this Altenew, it's pretty thin. And so you want to make sure you've got it trimmed down. So I know that all of you know how to trim down a piece of paper, but this label, one thing that I like about this label maker, and maybe all of them are this way, but I like that I can trim the edges and the little break to pull off the paper on the back is still in the middle, so it's still easy to get that part off. I use a pretty generic type of label, and I do not add any extra adhesive. To put it on these. With this Altenew pad you can see it's grooved right here on the long side so the label really needs to go on the end so that you can read it well and also that's the way that it fits in that stamp and storage um, ink pad holder so that more pads will fit in. So I put it on this end I don't add any extra adhesive and then we're going to make some swatches that also go on the end of the ink pad. So I like to have swatches on the end of my ink pads just so that I can get another idea of what the color is. You know, the names are very creative, but they don't always tell you what the shade of it's going to be. So having a swatch on the end can let you compare colors and compare colors across families so that you can decide which shades you're going to use. When I'm making these swatches, I need a big enough area that's solid to do the hole punch. And this little square is my favorite because it's the perfect size. I don't know what stamp set this thing came from, but it is um, my swatch stamp. So I'm going to do this whole co color family, and then we're going to use the We Are Memory Keepers hole punch. It is amazing. I think it's replaced everything else like it in my stash, and it's just compact, easy to use. I'll show you how you can go from different sizes. You just twist the top, so easy. So I use one fourth inch punch, and you can use any size. This is just the biggest punch that I felt like would show the color and be able to fit on the little edge of the Altenew pads. One tip I have is that once you punch out your color, go on and put it on the appropriate pad because if you let it sit there, one, you could lose it, two, you can mix up which color it is, and three, it just saves you some time, I feel like, because they want to fall off onto the floor or anything like that. I use Gina K Connect glue to put these on because it works great, it sticks well, and it dries clear. So if you get a little bit on the outside, it works. I'm sure you could do this with some type of 
adhesive tape runner or something like that, but I just know that using a liquid glue has held these together very well for me. I'm going to freeze frame this so that you get a good look at it, but this will save you so much time looking at what color you got. Next, I just wanted to do a fun little sped up version of getting to put all the colors that I swatched and labeled in here. I don't know if this is um, kind of nerdy, but I just love doing this. I love doing it in rainbow order, and I love adding things and just having them organized. It just makes me happy. So as we wrap up this quick video, I wanted to show you some up-close photos. The Altenew Crisp Inks do hang over the ledge very slightly. This has not been a problem from the falling out or anything like that. You could always scoot the bin back in your calyx unit a little further. But these are made for Distress Oxide inks, and I chose them because it holds so much more than some of their other options. One thing I love about these is that the Stamp and Storage Company is in the US and they ship quickly. I got these within seven days when I ordered them. So it is a splurge. If you're going to look at them, please go through the link in my description. That really helps support this channel. And guys, I'm so happy that you came back to see some more organizational tips with me. I've got plenty others. If you want to check them out, please take the time to hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks guys.